you saved a lot of lives at Abel's. First things first. You've done some impressive work, Agent. The only thing that's made being stuck in here bearable is knowing that you were out there doing the job that I can't. The city's starting to pick itself up off the pavement. You can see it in people's eyes. They're finally starting to think about something besides dying. They don't even know the worst is still out there. Yeah. Colonel Bliss's boys have proven more resilient than a swarm of cockroaches. You've hurt them, but they've still got the resources to terrorize this city on a massive scale. They fortified the United Nations complex, and they've got Chernenko, the Russian virologist that Amherst was working with. Now they're holding him prisoner there. Fascists in the seat of international peace and security. Funny guy, that Bliss. At this point, it's clear the LMB was involved with whatever happened to the first wave. And we know now that at least one agent was actively working with Bliss. We thought the last man battalion was scary enough. But if they've got access to division tech or intel, they could completely destroy everything we've been working toward. Hey. We both know what needs to happen now. You need to find a way into the UN and deal with Bliss once and for all. And hopefully it's not get fair to put this all back. on you, but... Fair died weeks ago. Go get him, Agent. Hey there. Agent, when you have a minute. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but I think we've got something. Thanks to you, we have mapped the genetic drift on green poison. Plus, I have ID'd all the aftermarket DNA Amherst bolted onto it. And thanks to those samples you picked up from the survivors, I was able to harvest antibodies against our friendly neighborhood superbug, and that let me lay out a roadmap for a vaccine. Here. Take a look. Normally, I'd take point on the team developing that, but they're a little better equipped to handle it in an arbor. And me? Well, I'm stuck here with you. Which is fine. God knows there's plenty left for me to do here. Yeah. And with Chernenko and maybe Ammer still out there, all it would take is one psycho asking the right questions. Tell me we're not going to see that. Please. Dr. Campbell, Campbell, you're needed in the recovery ward. Dr. Campbell. Still lots for me to do. Hey. You know we can't survive this again. So please. Okay, that's all the wings. Upgraded. Catch you later. We've really overcome a hurdle here. This disaster aid station will let us distribute supplies right to the civilians who need them. Great work. You changed it. You got the time. I hope to see you back here soon, okay? Stay safe. This is great, Agent. These barracks will help us keep more of our guys close and ready to roll. I do believe I would uh, murder Gotta see it right to now. believe it.
I'll be in touch. Let's get back to it. Lighthouse, this is Dagger. Over. Dagger, what you got? A confirmed sighting of Bliss at the UN compound. He's set up in the Grand Assembly. So, this is the big one. LMB's last foothold on the island is the last place you'd expect those sons of bitches to hold up. The United Nations. And since nobody's gonna pass any sternly worded resolutions to get them out, it's up to us. We've got ears on their comms and eyes on the compound. And it's clear this is where Colonel Bliss wants to make his last stand. It's also likely they're still holding him there. We're trying to stay extracted from the consulate. We take out Bliss, we chop the head off this snake. We take out that site, and they got nowhere to run. Captain Benitez's troops will mount an assault on a key LMB position. That should distract them enough for you to breach their perimeter and shut down their auto turrets from the inside. Once that's done, we can launch the main assault. Trap bliss like a rat. But it all hinges on you. Okay. Shoulder down. So many are so stingy now. Not you. If we're gonna reclaim the UN from those LMB types, step one is getting you past those guns and inside the wall. My people will draw the sentries' attention, mainly by shooting at them. That should buy you enough time to use Remember breaching that, charges agent. and cut your way inside. Hey, Agent, have done here's the charges. They're wired, ready, and have enough weight to punch through a foot of concrete. See you on the inside. Everything's prepped and ready. We just need you to punch the clock. Clear the south gate and we'll begin the assault. I'll search the area. I'll have a look. Inbound on your position. Line him up. Shoot. technology, basically. <laughs> Type of mon. the tunnels beneath the UN close by. Once in the tunnels, you'll find the breach site 200 yards north. Leave the JTF Helicopter. squad and go.
Run down. Shit. Still one left. Moving up. There he is. Oh, another one. This one. Three of them. of it. Two down. Got a shield of some type. Shoot them. Not easy though. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. Two of them from what I saw. Moving up to vehicle. See him. Down. Taking too long. We need those turrets turned around and the main gate open now. Yeah. Still 
I should be okay. Don't worry about the courtyard. The JTF can hold it. Take point at the General Assembly. Bliss is your target. Take him down fast. Bliss is your primary objective, but we believe Keener and the Russian are still in the building as well. I've tasked JTF squads to search for them, but if you see them, don't hesitate. Maybe. Okay. Two L and B dead. Maybe. Bliss, the L and B, they're over. I'm getting our immunologist out of here. Engage the division personnel off site and muddy up their tactical read. The run is low, sir. Raptor and Domino. So 
surprise. This is a, isn't a surprise. You'd better hear this. Bliss just broke radio silence. We're trying to track him. Patching you through. Flying son of a bitch, Aaron Keener put a knife in our backs. Anyone not on the wall needs to be hunting that traitor and his Russian playmate down. They are not to leave the compound alive. Am I understood? There is no wall, sir. JTF forces are in the building. Your helo is prepped and you need to evacuate now. Mother... Right. I'm coming up. Got him. The General Assembly Chamber. Go! There's Raptor. Shoot. Yeah, they got me with that seeker, man. Raptor down. Hostiles inbound on your position. Second one down. Clear. Check in the bottom. One more rogue agent. Someone by the name of Domino. Going by the code name Domino. Sir, we've got eyes on a helo over the main building. That's gotta be Bliss. Fuck, we missed. Agent, we whipped on Bliss, but his command staff might still be in the General Assembly. Head that way and engage. Assembly room. It's like at least three of them downstairs. Let's push the sniper for one moment. Oh, it's a 
Okay, now, we still have LMB in the building. I need you to... Sorry to cut in, Captain. Agent, this room contains any intel the LMB has on Manhattan. Find a terminal and download everything. We don't know what we don't know. Lady's got a point. Better do that. Morning. Incoming hostiles. Some stairs up here. They take the high ground. Probably gonna need it. Four of them. Domino was among them. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. Seekers are loose. Domino down. There's a lot of Sniper interesting down. data here. Looks like the LMB had eyes on everyone. There's something weird here. I'll get roads on analysis right away. The remaining LMB troops are breaking. It's all over but the shouting, so link up with our people in the courtyard. We'll see where we go from there. I doubt it's going to be that easy. I really do. We're still going room to room, but the last LMB effectives are given up. We've secured UNHQ. It's a damn shame about Bliss. Last eyes we had on his bird, he was going half-assed and full blast heading due south. How are they going to go to ground? Sir! Well, I'll be goddamn. Soldiers of the last man battalion, this is your commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Charles Bliss. And I tell you, we will not fall this day. We are soldiers. We have survived the virus and brought order to the streets. And we are not going to go down to a bunch of ragtag volunteers who think they know how to fight. Regroup and assault the enemy position. We're taking this place back and we will fight to the last man. Oh boy. This is gonna be a nightmare. That helo took out the mask. But if you can get to each turret, you should be able to realign them manually. Put some heat on this bastard. Knock that arrogant fuck out of the sky. Agent, I've got reinforcements incoming. Keep them under pressure and stay sharp. Careful, agent. 
capable of. It would be pretty helpful if you get those turrets and flip them over to our side. Working on it. Hey, cover! Now! Now! Heads up, you've got ground troops incoming. LMB reinforcements. Watch your back down there. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. Team Center over in the Tenderloin. It's where the JTF screened civilians for access to Camp Hudson and to work with the relief effort. We got 80 people housed there. He needs some help when you get a chance. How about that, Agent? You just killed the CEO of the last organized threat to Manhattan. Wasn't easy, and we lost a lot of good people, but you broke the LMB's back. Nobody's gonna be sweeping neighborhoods telling people join or die at gunpoint. Not without Bliss running the show. Still gonna be squads of them out there, but without the big man, we can handle them every day and twice on Sunday. Taking unnecessary risks. So, here we are, Agent. We've made a pretty good team, I think. Done a lot for this city. A lot more than people thought we could. You and I both know this isn't exactly a happy ending. Our favorite homicidal traitor, Aaron Keener, is still out there. And he's still got Cherninko with him. Read Keener's file sometime. It's, uh, quite interesting. And we don't know where Amherst is either, or what else he might have up his sleeve, but... 
But there's hope. Generosity. Dr. Candle's got the DCD on the road to a vaccine. You broke the LMBs back and the cleaners. And the Rikers, too. We took the city back like we promised we would. We're not done yet. As long as the Dark Zone's out there, we've got our work cut out for us. But we're on our way to finally saving the city. And with it, maybe something more. Not bad for the second wave. Such a thing. Heads up, two o'clock, stand on the roof by the billboard. Yeah, I see. Single target. Looks like the mustache could use a trim. Target 0 0.26 miles high. Angle zero. Yeah, that'll put you at 1,220 meters. That's Darby's record plus 60. And Darby's about to eat it. What's my dial? Dial 18 mils, one click. Wind? Nine o'clock, three miles per hour. Dial left, 1.2 mils. All right, package waiting. Send it. Jesus! You see Darby tell him to get his ass back to target practice? New Queen just got crowned. Readings indicate an echo nearby. They're gonna have to kill me before I go back in that fucking hole. You hear that, assholes? It's Dude, get down! down. They got snipers and shit! Hey, hey dumbass, keep off the wall! <laughs> This could have been that one that I just heard about on the other one. I'd say that's a strong possibility. Okay. Okay. First of all, I owe myself an apology. Emotional outbursts are unacceptable. Certainly unprofessional. No matter how provoked. So, I apologize. I forgive myself. I move forward. Good. Now the question of the moment. This Betrayal. This changes things. Things have changed. This is clear. We have been lied to. We are sent to do a job. Things get tough. Suddenly, we're not allowed to do it. Rules are broken. Values discarded. A city abandoned. 
This is the truth. This is reality. The man behind the curtain. I have to tell the others. on that rooftop what you did it it's impossible i know it changes everything i know what are you gonna do i don't know we'll see our lab for now. Is this the vigilante? Or is it something else? All down. Okay, patrol down. I hear someone up ahead. Wish I could have seen this place before it all happened. Okay, at least a light machine gunner up ahead. Fighting the two arrows. Find a JTF. They're alive at least.
If this is a joke, it's not funny. Something's wrong. We stick together, I'm not I think we can make it. Nice snipers. Okay. But there is gunfire here. Shoot, I need our attention on me. Shoot at me. Didn't make it. Shit. GTF could be all over fire. Engage it. Fire on target. Oh. 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 Visibility starting to go. Okay, it does not look like I've missed anything else, except for this right here. We'll have to reassess. indicate this area is safe.
There's one echo. I've found everything else. Says something about body camp. Man, I can't wait. Hey, agent. There. Visibility shot now. See if I can help some people along the way. Eyes around. So I both set it off, no problem.
the rewire turns down. Need to work with my handgun a bit more. civilian got away. That's one good thing I've noticed. The Seeker Mine doesn't damage them. Otherwise it's been too dangerous to do that. That is definitely not your car.
So here. This place has been abandoned for a while. Active echo beacon detected. Guessing that's Amherst. Well, here I am, Aaron Keener, the first wave's prodigal son. Normally I'd do this face to face, but I'm not 100% sure which way it'll jump. You act one way when Ms. Lao is watching, and another way entirely when you're off the leash. That's an interesting contradiction. You see, I think that deep down, you get it. You know, the old rules, laws, governments, those things died on Black Friday. But the feral PMCs, the convicts, the ones smart enough and good enough to take what they need, they'll survive. Me? I'm gonna prosper. Oh, you could too, but you took an oath, right? You got a duty. Those are both ways of saying that your conscience is fucking you. You ask yourself, who has earned a right to tell you what to do? Do you know how many agents died to hold the dark zone just for the brass to give up and put a wall around it? You don't believe me? You should check the place out for yourself. But the people you're working for, they're irrelevant now. Amherst changed how the game is played, and I have got the vision to win. I got Chernenko, I got a DNA printer, and a very interesting recipe book. I'm gonna write my own rules. You should think about getting in on this thing. I'll be seeing you. Agent, the information you found in that lab was the crown jewel. I think we can break this thing now. But we've got some more information. A voice from the grave. Listen to what Amherst has to say. A viral infection. What you're looking at is the smallpox virus, one of the deadliest pathogens on the planet. For centuries, it did a wonderful job of helping keep the human population in check. But times change, and sometimes Mother Nature needs a hand in improving her creations. Like, say, speeding them up a little bit, making them contagious when they should be quietly incubating in a host, or making them more lethal. I didn't come up with the approach on my own. My friend Vitaly is one of the pioneers in the field, and the idea has been around for years. Genome as data. You see, once we digitized DNA, we made it infinitely mutable. We could do a thousand virtual variations in the time it used to take to grow a one lab grade generation of pathogens. And we could pick the best, most lethal combinations and make them real. That's how you make a killer virus, you see. 
mix in genetic code from other diseases, and you move the sliders all the way up on lethality and virulence. The goal was a 90% mortality rate. I'm not sure my green poison is going to quite hit that, but honestly, that's just details. As long as most of humanity goes, the Earth stands a fighting chance. Technically, technology is what's killing the planet. But that's not really the case. It's the greed that drives the technology. But a not funny really. thing happened on the way to $100 genome maps and 3D printed plastic toys. Someone figured out those technologies could be repurposed, modified for the greater good. Me. Now, my virus is going to do what nature's always done. Decide who lives and who dies. And if nature decides I die, then I die. If nothing else, I'll have a lot of company. Natural selection at its finest. Helped along by a little unnatural genetic manipulation. It's all data, really. Life's just a method of processing it. The same way I processed the smallpox genome on my laptop. And who's to say that wasn't the plan all along? If, by some miracle, you survive green poison, then nature's decided you deserve to live. The rest of us shouldn't and won't. Godspeed. I'll see you in hell. Crazy person. Mm -hmm. 